Welcome to this update on the solar industry, where we're taking a look at the trends and stocks that are shaping the future of renewable energy. It's been a tough year for solar stocks, with most experiencing a decline of over 40%. This drastic drop is largely due to the high costs of solar technology and changes in governmental incentive programs that previously made solar investments more attractive. However, it's not all doom and gloom. There's a strong demand for utility-scale solar projects, and the global market beyond the United States and Europe is showing promise. The sun may have set on solar stocks in 2023, but with a new year comes new opportunities. Stay tuned as we delve into one stock that is showing promise in this turbulent market, Deco New Energy. Let's turn our attention now to Deco New Energy, a player in the polysilicon industry that's currently undervalued. Now, the polysilicon industry has been facing its own share of challenges, with oversupply constraints and price wars being the key issues. Amidst this, Daco New Energy stands as a cheap, yet significant player. One of the four largest players in the industry, to be precise, alongside Tongwei, GCL Technology, and Zinte Energy. But what sets Deco New Energy apart? Well, while the other companies are ramping up their production capacity, Deco is taking a slightly different approach. They're expanding their manufacturing capabilities. And this isn't just a game of semantics. By focusing on manufacturing capabilities over production volume, Deco is setting itself up to be more agile and responsive to market changes. Now, the elephant in the room, polysilicon prices are expected to drop further in the first quarter of 2024. This might seem like a negative, but there's more to the story. Yes, Deco's average selling price did drop in the third quarter of 2023, but they've got a trick up their sleeve they can decrease their production cost thanks to the usage of their own silicon metal. This gives them an edge, allowing them to maintain profitability even in a low price environment. Financially, Deco is in an enviable position. They're debt free and hold a high cash position, which adds to their resilience and ability to weather potential storms. And let's not forget the potential catalyst that could push the stock higher in 2024. There's the possibility of Chinese polysilicon being allowed in America, the introduction of semiconductor grade polysilicon and silicon metal, and a potential dividend announcement. Plus, the company is prioritizing share buybacks, a move that's likely to increase shareholder value. Deco New Energy is certainly a stock to watch in 2024, but as with all investment decisions, it's important to consider the bigger picture. While the solar industry holds promise for a sustainable future, Recent research has revealed a dark side, forced labor in China's polysilicon factories. The global solar panel manufacturing industry is under scrutiny for its alleged involvement in human rights violations. The Breakthrough Institute claims that Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang, China, have been coerced into producing polysilicon, an essential component of solar panels, under state-sponsored labor transfer programs. These programs reportedly manipulate minority workers into factory jobs, threatening them with arrest and imprisonment. This isn't an operation on the fringe. China's polysilicon factories in Xinjiang accounted for over 42% of global production last year. Companies such as GCL Technology Holdings, East Hope Group, Daco New Energy Corporation, and Zinte Energy have been implicated in employing forced labor. The conditions under which these workers operate are far from ideal, marked by long hours, low pay, dangerous conditions, and mandatory political indoctrination. Researchers argue that solar manufacturing companies are complicit in the Chinese Communist Party's campaign of oppression against Uyghurs and other minority groups. The implications of this are vast, posing significant risks to the supply chain and the global expansion of the solar industry. The United States has taken a stand against these practices, banning some imports of solar materials from Xinjiang. Other countries are deliberating similar measures. Researchers are urging energy companies to sever ties with Xinjiang-based manufacturers and for governments to support domestic solar manufacturing. The situation raises a fundamental question about the true cost of solar energy. It's not merely financial. There's a human cost to consider. As we strive for a greener future, we must ensure that it's built on a foundation of respect for human rights, not exploitation. As consumers and investors, it's crucial to consider these human rights issues when supporting solar companies. As we've seen, the solar industry in 2024 presents both opportunities and challenges. It's been a tough year for solar stocks, with many down over 40% due to high costs and changes in government incentive programs. Yet, amidst the turbulence, Daco New Energy emerges as a potential gem, undervalued and financially robust. An industry leader in polysilicon production, Daco is expanding its manufacturing capabilities 
and several catalysts could push the stock higher this year. However, we cannot ignore the darker side of solar. Serious allegations of forced labor in China's solar panel supply chain, particularly within polysilicon factories, cast a shadow over the industry. This human rights issue has global implications, leading to the banning of some solar material imports from Xinjiang by the US, and considerations of similar measures by other countries. Before we conclude, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the renewable energy sector. Thank you for watching and remember, every investment decision should be made with careful consideration.